Hey guys, this is DSC Employee. Uh, I'm going to give you a quick chat on how to wire up the analog triggers on the Xbox controller so you can make it into a button, uh, mainly for maybe Tekken or Street Fighter games. So that's the controller with the anal uh, with the um, potentiometer in it, and I've desoldered um, the other one there. You can't really see it because my camera's crap, but it's got replaced by two purple wires. Okay, so my crude drawing time. So first things first is that's the potentiometer there. Uh, that little circle is the knob, and when you pull the trigger, you actually turn it left or right, increasing or decreasing the uh, resistance. Now, when you desolder it, you're going to get three holes. You don't have to worry about the top one, just the middle and the one to ground. A uh, quick test is to put it, take your a multimeter, put it onto the copper or silver side, and then put it to the negative terminal of your battery. If it connects, then that's the ground uh, pin. That's the one you want to uh, solder your wires to. Don't worry about the top one. That doesn't um, do anything. So what you want to do is um, just show you a quick circuit diagram here. You want your resistor, and you want a 470 ohm resistor. It doesn't have to be 470. It could be a little higher. It could be a little lower. But try to stick um, to that number there. And the way you're going to wire it is resistor. So resistor micro switch then back to the ground pin now the micro switch has to be normally closed now my arcade buttons happen to come with micro switches that have normally open and normally closed giving me a bit of flexibility so depending on what you have you will need to have it like this normally closed so when you press the button it'll open like that when it's opened then it will be as if you've just pressed a button and it'll do whatever function is put to the trigger as soon as you release it'll be closed again and the controller would stop working if you don't do this you will find that the remaining buttons like your right and left bumper and a few of the x and y's won't actually work because the controller thinks the left trigger is being held or the right trigger is being held permanently so as i said you need to have it normally closed um, there is another way of going about it if you don't actually have a micro switch that allows you to do that if you need it, just comment and I'll uh, try and draw you a diagram of how you're meant to do it. It's called an anti-switch for those people who are going to Wikipedia it. Um, otherwise, I can give you a quick uh, explanation of how that works. Okay then, till next time, catch you later.